In 2014, John Kerr created a website and began populating it with flash-based animations to help students visualize the complex interactions of molecules and metabolic reactions. Hundreds of biology teachers, including me, used the animations in their courses, taking students step-by-step -step through cell respiration or DNA replication. Kirk's innovative presentations simultaneously displayed molecules, summary information, and process steps, allowing students to move back and forth between the details and the whole picture. In December of 2020, Adobe stopped supporting and browsers stopped displaying flash files. Mr. Kirk kindly gave me permission to preserve what I could, and this movie of the water animation is my attempt to give students access to his imaginative and innovative explanation. Liquid water is the medium of life. Most organisms are over 80% water. The water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The two hydrogen atoms occupy two corners of a tetrahedron centered on the oxygen atom. The oxygen's unbonded valence electrons occupy two of the four corners of the tetrahedron. This creates a polar molecule with local concentrations of positive and negative charge. The hydrogen's single electron sits in the lowest energy shell, which holds two electrons when it is complete. The oxygen's eight electrons are distributed with two in the inside shell and six in the outer shell, which holds eight electrons when it is complete. So oxygen is short two electrons in its outer shell. Hydrogen lacks one electron in its single inner shell. By sharing electrons, oxygen and both hydrogens complete their outer shells. The resulting compound is water with properties unpredictable from those of its components. Analysis shows the hydrogen atoms sit balanced against the oxygen's free electrons, rather than lying on opposite sides of the oxygen nucleus. Instead, they make a 104.5 degree angle centered on that nucleus. Each hydrogen's nucleus is 0 0.94 angstroms from the center of the oxygen atom. The van der Waals force is a spherical field of influence around an atom. Atoms may intrude into one another's van der Waals fields only up to a point. Because both hydrogens end up on the same side of the oxygen, the water molecule has a lopsided charge. Polarity causes water molecules to attract one another as well as other charged or ionized molecules. The hydrogen bonds that form are weak electrostatic attractions between hydrogen and electronegative atoms, typically nitrogen or oxygen. Each water molecule can link to four others. Because of these attractions, water molecules in air and liquid are always in motion, the more so as temperature increases. Only when water freezes do the molecules slow down enough to form a stable crystalline lattice based on hydrogen bonding. The angles between the hydrogen atoms and the direction of the hydrogen bond between water molecules cause the lattice to take a hexagonal form in three dimensions, as we can see by rotating the lattice to look at the molecular organization from different angles. Most of the time, two hydrogen atoms per oxygen is the rule. Water molecules get along very well and lead an active social life. But on occasion, a hydrogen ion briefly escapes without its electron. This hydroxyl ion now carries a negative charge. The hydrogen ion carries a positive charge and temporarily joins another water to become hydronium. In pure water, the number of hydroxyl molecules equals the number of hydronium molecules. Water ionizes to a very slight extent. Only two in every 555 million water molecules are involved at any moment. Water is particularly good at dissolving substances that ionize, but some of these ions upset the hydrogen-hydroxyl balance. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, is eager to ionize. It donates its hydrogen to a neutral water molecule to form a hydronium ion. When many HCl acid molecules are added to water, 
Each contributed hydrogen creates a new hydronium ion. Now there is insufficient hydroxyl to balance the hydronium. Excess hydrogen ions, or hydronium ions, means we have an acid. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the stronger the acid. In water at room temperature, or 25 degrees Celsius, there is only one hydrogen ion for every 555 million water molecules. Expressed mathematically, the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the minus 7th moles per liter. If the concentration of hydrogen ion goes up 10 times, the hydrogen concentration is 10 to the minus 6th, 100 times, and it is 10 to the minus 5th. Let's do the math. A mole of water contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. A liter of water contains 55.5 moles of water molecules. That's because the molecular weight of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom is 18. This weight is also considered the molecular mass, hence 18 grams. So this liter, 1,000 grams of water, is said to contain 1,000 divided by 18 or 55.5555 moles of water. This liter also contains 1 times 10 to the minus 7th moles of hydrogen ions. So in pure water, there are 1 times 10 to the minus 7th moles of hydrogen ions per 55 moles of water molecules for a ratio of 1 hydrogen ion to 555 million water molecules. The pH scale is a convenient way of expressing hydrogen ion concentration by simply referring to its logarithmic power. In water, at room temperature, the concentration of hydrogen ions is 1 times 10 to the minus 7th moles per liter, so its pH is 7. In other words, the minus 7 exponent is the number we use for pH. We just take its minus sign away. pH is the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration. The pH scale was defined by Søren Sørensen, a Danish biochemist, in 1909. It reduces a cumbersome number to a simple number. A pH value of 7 is neutral. A pH less than 7 indicates an acid, with the strongest acids, like hydrochloric acid and hydrosulfuric acid, between 0 and 1. Weaker acids, like wine, are in the pH 3 to 4 range, and the weakest acids found in food, especially milk and meat, are in the 6 to 7 range. The range between 6 and 8 is the zone of life. Blood and saliva are slightly basic. Cleaning solutions, like Clorox, are weak bases, in the 8 to 9 range, while ammonia is in the 10 to 11 range. Stronger cleaners are even more basic, with lye making the strongest common base at nearly pH 14.